Hello, this is Chimmy92, and I'm going to show you how to transfer your Pokemon files that you've created in Pokesave from your computer to your DS game card. The first thing you're going to want to do is to download Python 2.6, and there will be a link in the description. As soon as the page loads, uh, click on the link up here that says Python 2.6 and then this page loads you'll want to go down to the download section and click on the link that uh, matches your operating system windows will click on windows mac will click on mac and so on uh... i've already downloaded this so i'm not going to want to save it again but you'll just click ok or save or run or whatever uh, and then you'll find the file wherever you saved it and you just run it and go through and just pick the default settings uh, and while this installs I will show you the next step and basically Python is just the language that the actual program is written in uh, just a computer language. The next step is to download the actual send PKM files, the program. And it's just media Mediafire. And you go over here, uh, click on the download link. It's a small file, and the box will pop up. I've already downloaded it, so. I'm not going to save it again, but you just click OK or save, and you'll get back to your desktop. Finish the installer uh, whenever it's it uh, says finish, and then you'll see the send PKM zip file, and you'll want to right click or uh, command click and extract it and extract. Uh, this will give you a folder with three files wherever you extracted it. Um, the Then you'll need to somehow get a PKM file. A PKM file is just one Pokemon. Uh, it has to be a party Pokemon, not a box Pokemon, and then it can't be overly hacked, like 200, more than 255 EVs in any one stat, or more than 31 IVs in a stat, something like that. And uh, for e or for the sake of ease, you just copy the uh copy the PKM file into the same folder with all of the send PKM files. Um, and the next thing you'll want to do is to drag the PKM file onto the send PKM program. And that'll open a box and you'll get uh, four numbers separated by periods. And that's just your DNS number and you'll want to put that into your DS. Um, I'll need to switch over to the webcam for the rest of the tutorial, but don't exit out of the box that came up. You can close the folder, you can do whatever else you want, just don't exit out of this box. Okay, so the next thing you'll need to do is transfer your uh, the DNS number that appeared in the box to your DS's uh, DNS server settings. Um, and you'll also need, of course, the game card. And I have right here Pokemon Heart Gold. Uh, it also works with Soul Silver. And I haven't tried this. I haven't tried it with Platinum, Pearl, or Diamond. But I know a couple of my friends have. Uh, said it has worked with theirs. So uh, the first thing you'll need to do, and I'm doing this on my DSi, so uh, 
I'll try and make it as similar as possible to the DS Lite and DS Fat. Anyway, you'll start the game like normal, and uh, as soon as the title screen comes up, you're going to need to um, go into the Wi-Fi settings. It's going to be under. It's going to be below connect or continue new game and connect to Pokewalker. Uh, just select the wi the Wi-Fi connection settings. Go to your settings uh, in there and edit whichever settings you'll use, and go down to the auto obtain DNS and click no. Now there's going to be two fields that showed up. Uh, the primary DNS and the secondary DNS. What you'll want to do is take the number, the four numbers from the black box that showed up on your screen and put them into the primary and secondary DNS. And so mine was 192, 168, 1, and 100 and I'll just put those in. Uh, Obviously, yours is going to be different, so uh, just put yours in for both the primary and the secondary, and as soon as you're done, you just save the settings. You can test, make sure it works, and uh, like mine, I'm testing right now. But just test, make sure it works, and if it doesn't, then you'll probably need to go in and uh, rework your settings to work with your router. Anyway, just save, uh, go back to the title screen, and start the game like normal. Uh, you'll need to go into the the game's GTS, which in Heart Gold and Soul Silver is located in. Uh, Goldenrod City, uh, which is where you fought Whitney. It's about south of the National Park, that kind of thing. Um, in Platinum, Diamond, and Pearl, it's uh, uh, anyway. Um, you'll need to. Go and go into the GTS, start saving, connecting like normal. Uh, I can't wait until Black and White's GTS is in every Pokemon Center. Um, sorry for the spoiler. Anyway, uh, you just go in, connect like normal. Uh, I'm saving right now. Um, and after you do that, it will show up with the connection screen. Uh, and as soon as you're connected, it'll take you into the trading room uh, where you normally trade. Um, after that, it will be a... It's a longer than normal wait. I can assure you of that. But uh, when you finally see the... Pokeball coming down from the sky telling you, oh, you've got something to take, then you'll know it's worked. And even the box on the screen will have said, transferring to uh, your game, take good care of whatever the Pokemon's name is. And um, uh, after you're done with that, it'll come up with a connection error. That's completely normal. Um, and you just push A to get out of it. It'll take you back to the title screen. And you can go back to the GTS uh, C. Like mine's... Well, you can't see it. Because my webcam sucks. But, um... You go back to the title screen. You can go back to the GTS. Put another Pokemon file in. More than likely, the DNS will be the same. Uh, you won't have to reset it for every one. But... Um, after that, you can keep doing it, and then just to uh, just to battle and trade online, you'll need to reset it back to auto obtain DNS. Um, if you need any help, just PM me on YouTube. I should answer quickly. Um, you 
could try commenting, but more than likely I won't respond to it. Um, and if you're looking for a good Pokemon community, I've started one about a year ago, um, and the link will be in the description, and if you decide to join, we'd be glad to have you. Uh, thank you, and have fun with your new Poke Saved Pokemon.